In this video, I'll show you how you can have bookmarking work a little bit more precisely on your videos. So one of the viewers of my channel asked a question in the comments and asked if uh, there was a way that they could more precisely return revisiting learners to a particular spot within a video. And of course, my answer is yes, you can do that. But there is a trick to it, which I'll share with you guys today. Okay, so the challenge is, is that if I place a video on a single slide, the way bookmarking works in Adobe Captivate is that if you exit the course and return to the course at a later time, you'll be returned to the beginning of whatever slide you left from. Now, if you've got a video like I do here that's about a minute long, it's not that big of a deal. However, if you have a video that's 10 minutes long or even 15 minutes long, it's going to be very inconvenient for your learner, especially if you don't have any navigation controls that would allow them to skip through all the parts of the video that they've already watched. So one solution that you can consider to actually use slide videos feature of multi-slide synchronized video. So if I grab my video file that I wish to add to, in this case, slide one, I've prepared five slides to distribute it across, and I make sure that I choose slide video. If event video is already selected, just switch it to slide video, and then you can choose distribute video across slides. I can change this value here. Currently it's selecting all five of the slides that I have. If I only wanted it to be four, I could override that with four. But in this case, we will use all five. I did set the duration uh, of the slides to be a little bit longer than their default, but I'll show you how you can adjust that later if need be. So if I click on OK, what's going to happen is the video is going to distribute across all five slides. Now, if I wish to adjust the duration that each of these slides contains, I can click on the video from slide one, go to my properties inspector, and click on edit video timing. And you'll see that you have these transition markers between slides, and you just need to drag those and reposition those to be approximately where you want that transition to occur. Again, you can't precisely return a learner to exactly the same spot in the video using this method. But I would say that if you're within 10 seconds or even 20 seconds of where they exited the course, you're going to have a better user experience than if learners had to watch 10 minutes worth of video or 15 minutes of video just to get caught up to where they were. Now, some of you might be thinking, that, okay, well, this is all well and good, but what's the transition between slides going to be like? So let's go ahead and click on OK here and make those adjustments that we made. And I'm going to preview this project now using HTML5 in browser. There is a uh, play bar in this project. I haven't turned that off yet. I might do that if that was the case, but let's just take a look at how it looks to us, the learner at this stage. So you can see the video. It's just a tutorial on hair cutting techniques here. And we're probably somewhere in, in slide two at this point, based on where we are on the timeline. And I don't think anyone, I certainly can't detect any jitters or any flashes between slides. It's completely seamless. So if I was to exit from the course at this point, especially if it was a longer video, and relaunch the course from my learning management system, you would be returned to, in this case, within 10 seconds of where you left off. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.